one. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. We're opening with Stephen King quote. <laughs> keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. Say, all I really know about this game, it's the freaking Luigi's Mansion. Gone instead of a vacuum cleaner. And you're Stephen King, pretty much. <laughs> it was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. But like, I played like a demo of this all the way back in like the 360 era. And... I was just going through like whatever demos I could play of random of horror games. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. And so, so it's like, eh. I played it for a bit. It's like it's all, it was all right. And um, so freaking wish list it on Steam. And then there was like a sale going on that they were going to delist the game from Steam, so pick it up then, but then just never play it till now. The bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. And now this. <laughs> And now freaking Alan's in uh, Dead by Daylight. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. <laughs> freaking gun coming from the heavens. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. <laughs> That's mile. It really has that part side town color scheme. Like an eldritch abomination is gonna happen. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. Let's see who has the last laughs. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Like an Oldsmobile? He says hi to you too. I don't think thermos. I'm going to constantly be looking for thermoses now. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the Odier Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh God, I am your biggest fan. Oh. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose. I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. <gasps> a thermos. What is that guy doing? <laughs> Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love. 
Wait, I look. Oh, it's over there. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Oh, I. You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, don't think I won't murder you in your sleep. Now that's what I'm talking about, yes! This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Lamp lady. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find stuff to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Uber Eager fans are no good. Hello? Mr. Stuckey? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Oh, whoa. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Oh, whoa. Oh, she's a lot less creepy out of the cutscene. Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Also, thermoses are collectible in this game, and I want to find every single one of them. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? <laughs> Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. F F5. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. The amount of freaking Stephen King. I'm sorry, were those just energizer batteries? <laughs> Finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. Yes, I'm hunting the pages feverishly, not, not thermoses. Not thermoses at all. Hello. Impossibly. I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. Can't wait to see that hap happen. Yeah. 
emergency. I'm in an emergency. Hell. It's like two floating rocks up there. I don't think I was supposed to see the rocks. So. It's like a freaking Half-Life. Two. I can't remember if there was caches like that in one. Just a little mini freaking Twilight Zone. <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> okay. There's a lot of ammo. Um, Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come, assuming I'd reached the lights at the gas station alive. I don't know, do I just... <laughs> I'm assuming uh, flares are really good for uh, enemies like that. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station. Okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Honey, I'm home. 
Is that a thermos? How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Hey, I need a thermos <laughs> first. But these shots are turning out great. I guess you're gonna need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. Oh hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. These look really good. Oh, is that the frickin' uh, cardboard cutout? Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan? Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry! Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Hi, okay. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. <laughs> Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? The magic clicker. If I was scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you. Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. feel, Mr. Wick? Any mm. nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? L let me answer. I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Derek Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Like, interrupt his fr fishing trip. <laughs> She's a beauty, ain't she? Not That's a C plus. God, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me, but she's right up there. Now she's a large wait, no. bass, which is what no, wait, no, no, no. For a lure. No, Frick, that's the wrong one. Salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Excuse me. I need he's in. <laughs> Hello. Alan. Please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. Mr. Ray, can I help you with anything? Oh my god. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. I thought he quit drinking for good. Oh, no such luck. He went on a bender and beat Danny pretty badly. He started shouting. The way she talks. Tor and Odin never caused any trouble to anyone when they were still living at their farm. Indeed. All we can do is to slow down the progress of their dementia. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. 
Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds yeah. <laughs> I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh! Hey! Oh my! Take it easy. Hey, nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. Mr. Takes a Swing at Everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl. And they just have a mammoth? Importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. Look at all these bears. Fucking Buddha bears. Little mammoth plushies. Still in Columbia Mammoth. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. You know, Barry, but I, but I have this weird urge to just run around and find thermoses. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do and you everything's understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. Easy there, boy. Doggy. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, can he shake? About this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Oh. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> Our puppy Max is gonna be okay. He got lucky. Oh. Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. Go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. <laughs> this is not <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, hey, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your, your best plan like? My plan? <laughs> you make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seek to manage. Um... Um, <laughs> no plan, really. Just taking the um, a little too rickety to do much more than that, you know. Oh, tell me about it. No sack race for us older gentlemen, huh? We're in the visitor center. Are they dying? Awful smell as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. Oh no. This is some freaking like what if Scream 3 was more competently written? Mr. 
Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, hell. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. I found. Game true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must... The lights. In the office. I, I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. I think Rusty's dead. That was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Wait, what hit me? Wait, can I get hurt by stepping in the sludge? I see no reason for me to do that. Max Something had torn a mammoth sized hole in the wall. Fishing is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a park fishing license. Rusty. I did again. Honestly, I'm surprised the game didn't pull the hey. You went down the. I feel like it's be best for my health to get going. Damn it. I dodged into him. Huh? 
I don't know. I keep on moving. <laughs> the great old one. Built by lightning in 1937. This went tall, rocky, was per. was over 200 years old, according to a local legend. It's stretched beyond the stars. I'm reading! about the tree. Oh! The game I don't have ammo. I'll have to give me a ammo game. Hey, it's the guy from the frickin' ferry. I was like, sir. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were gonna say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're gonna bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her all. <laughs> I really hope there's no uh, collectibles during these segments. You know what? I've been one 
desperate situation after another. I was exhausted, and my body felt as though it had been chewed up and spat out. The flashlight was heavy in my hand, and each pull of the trigger sent a painful shock up my arm. But I was finally out of the woods, and things were looking up. That's when I heard the chainsaw. Alright, that wasn't that bad. It was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, wake! You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... a week. Not done? I need a week. Two days! The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. Not, well, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. There's definitely we talked about birds over the phone. Gosh, I don't know which way they're coming from. I think I just shined a flashlight at them. Flare. <laughs> ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. 
He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. I know. See you soon. This doesn't sound right. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the old dear diner. Good girl. How, the How hell am did you I? Get her hands on the manuscript anyway. I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI. He is. I didn't get. Anxious L. You. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? A gated help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird <laughs> stuff from the local <laughs> newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, I couldn't correct him. There, owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Are they finally done talking? <laughs> I just wanted to comment that it's weird that this is like. I'm looking for thermoses, sir, and I'm trying to say th my mind. <laughs> but uh, it was really weird <laughs> having a. Me. It's not far. Sir, I'm just wanting to say it's weird that there's a gated trailer park. I've heard of gated communities before, but a gated. A... <laughs> Get a trailer park. To do. This place don't run itself. Sir, I'm looking for thermoses. Trying this talk. Um, I am doing okay. I'm just want to make sure I get all all the stream and through oh, for today. Mister, can we just get a move on? Uh, as it says, it's this is the one because uh. Two is not on Steam, and I don't have a PS Five. What? Like I wasted this guy's time for nothing. I'm trying to remember what the freaking trailer park was in uh, Geeks. How about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. So we had the plane in the last chapter, and now we have a random boat. 
The things are freaking falling out of the sky like it's freaking Danny Darko. Who's hammering something? You hear that? It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. Bag lady? The lamp lady? Yeah, lamp lady. She's a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she... How do you confuse a lamp with a bag? Wait, to reach this person's trailer, you have to... Oh, I guess because the boat fell. F. Where did she just go... Through someone else's, they have a gate to lead to another trailer. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Um, it could have been nice, sir, about that. Like, hey, she called us over saying that she found something for us. Rising lack of thermoses out in the open on the trailer park. Oh. To, to, oh dear, Mr. Wake, I'm, I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh, oh yes, yes, please come in. Hey, this is really no. good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript, I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah, uh, hey Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! What? What? I blame Barry. It's coming for you, hiding in my barber's skin. What? I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Oh my god. <laughs> Back to work, boy. Ah! I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. Oh. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. Oh, okay. The manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do, about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. 
Yeah, you gotta learn that no means no. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a freaking shrine of Alan above her bed. Oh, is that the... Yeah, that's the freaking creepy doctor guy, too. Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. I got a thermos. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me, and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Thank you. A nice day. Come back soon. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. <laughs> You're right. I deserve more money. So handsome. All right, I guess we're just leaving Barry. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are. Whoa. That escalated really quickly. I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac! Decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the rider on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Oh. It was like, it's, it's just controlling her? It's like an eldritch ent entity? <laughs> Whoa. What is with these cops? Is this this is like freaking Blues Brothers like levels of, of like incompetence. What did they even flip over? Oh. Nightingale's no Cooper. I think they had four. The f There's another car! <laughs> this horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. <laughs> <laughs> you think this guy in a tweed jacket is, is just throwing cop cars around? What's on your mind, Mill? Well, I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Oh, God. They, they also opened fire on the trailer park, not just the manager. Oh, God. That would have pierced right through. Yes, sir. 
door, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Because it's just next door and they're popping off guns there. Gosh, these cops have a lot of fl flashbangs. Oh, it like instant detonates when I throw it at them. <laughs> In, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Jimmy Brown. You got it away from me. Don't hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. God. I'll get you yet, even if it kills me. You hear me? You hear me, HP Lovecraft? I had fallen off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book The Sudden Stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Gale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. I hate this guy. Nightingale sucks. There was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they had been left for someone like me to use. No, 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 no. Oh, that was a close one. Wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. 
I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. No lost boys down here. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. meant an actual steel pipe. Oh my god. Frickin' bulldozer. Oh no, don't dodge into it! There goes all my flashbangs. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G Man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass, not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now, because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're here. <laughs> I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. There's a manuscript page. Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger. It happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. All right, time to get out of here. Oh, come on, I dodged that. Oh, God damn. Ah! 
I dodged right into it. <laughs> some flashbangs again. Oh, I got trapped in. thing or a pencil technique Ellen It's just like slowly approaching me. Oh, wow, that was a waste. <laughs> Did the axe hit, hit the uh, big guy? <laughs> You guys want to come at me? Not what I had in mind, but okay. I never thought I would be fighting an oven. Let me just drop a flare right on it. Oh, that was a boss. Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake. 
using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. Helen. Raptor. Aldern Lake. Without warning, the headache stabbed at my brain. Was Bolden. I'm losing it. I gotta get out of here. Behind the closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, the local motel. <laughs> Just to feel the locals' eyes on him, the unrelenting pressure of their judgment. He forced it out of his mind. For all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. You do what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottle in his hand. Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. Isn't the motel the Inception, uh, that suck. Don't go there. That could have gone better. N plus E. Um. Pursuit. You write this? Talk to me. flares I 
And some... No, actually, this kind of reminds me of one of the uh, ruins. There we go. Wait! Is that you? Wait! Hey, I'm here! I'm coming! Uh, no! Get away! Sorry! Please, wait! The boss didn't know who he was messing with! I, I didn't know! I swear, I didn't know! We don't have his wife! We don't know where she is! She's probably drowned! We just said we had her to make him play ball! You see, you see? Forget him writing for us! Please! Please, I'm sorry, please. <laughs> oh. When you walk away and hear me say give you a sedative don't fight it I... you went through another rough period what right now it's very important that you stay calm we don't want you to have another episode you're a patient at my clinic have been for a while now. you have the freaking broken nose death triggered a mental illness no you're you lie you're suffering from various Earth. symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia Bastard. It's okay, Alan. Just let go. I hate him. I hate the freaking. I hate the freaking agent. I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. My rheumatism's killing me. There's a oh, storm the coming. These two musicians. Oh, <laughs> I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. 
And these two are the Anderson brothers, <laughs> Odin and Tor. They had a, how should I put this, a heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. My head. They have a manuscript? Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could. Only That's why they keep on top of calling him Stop! The typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. She took something from you, too, didn't she? That's what she does. Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, a god. Nightmares shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. She's been using you, boy. And you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Now, now, it was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden, old and stupid. <laughs> open it all the way, God damn it. Ah, it kind of reminds me of the uh, the old guys from uh, so tired. <laughs> Cowboy Bebop. Farm close to the lake, a place of power. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. Wait, there's a QR code? Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Love these guys. So weak now, are we? <laughs> I love these guys. Talking. 
giving Barry the Grand Tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. Hey. Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her We're hard. If she was one of Hartman's baby. goons, she had it coming. I could get the key and office job. from Sinclair. Seize your destiny. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be the keeping them. It's time to pay the piper. <laughs> what the? That's a bad photo. The photo on the wall caught my attention. Wait, isn't that the kidnapper? Staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. That's such a bad photo. <laughs> the markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made in the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? He's more and more out of control all the time. The party is, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's... Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, I'll set art. Never. Oh, Barry. Seriously. Do you Barry? Have any idea? Ow. About time. <laughs> the car cardboard cut out. Glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no. The cops found me a Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such, or else I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time, but I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that Say. son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. But, uh... Like, dude, ha dude had some drugs in his thumb. <laughs> These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Oh, probably part of the more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Hartman, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy they are to sky him. <laughs> <laughs>
Look at the birds. There we go. Also, the orderly's dead now. And watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little <laughs> he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. I guess I didn't need to shoot that one. It just goes through a cutscene. Now living bright falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. <laughs> inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this it helps this is happening Barry Alice they never had Alice she's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake but she's not dead Al how can you know that I know Barry I can Al I know listen I can bring her back I can find her there's something special about this place the lake it it does something to the works of art created here it makes them come true but there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! <laughs> I 
I had lost my gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Barry! Barry! Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! Man, what a drop! And don't worry, your cutout is fine! Forget that! <laughs> okay? Some bushes didn't get a scratch! There's no way you can climb down, though! It's like a sheer wall! Uh, Al! There's something moving down here! Barry, it's a taken! Use the flare, Barry! Woo! Yeah! Barry, are you alright? <laughs> I'm good, Al! I'm great! Guess he never messed with anyone from New York City before! <laughs> huh? You're gonna have to find your way around to the farm, Al! I'll be waiting! Barry, just wait for me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here! It's suicide! I'm going to the farm! I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area! You can catch up! Don't worry about it! I'm on the case! Now he's Rambo. <laughs> this would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Ah, oh, Barry's funny. He's a little bit, uh... Of, of a uh, big shot like when coming into this town but I think he's got knocked down <laughs> oh what I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place I'm trying to show you how the story goes I had seen glimpses of the light before I had seen it in my dream it was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. The dark presence uh, of uh, it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chain to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. Oh, so it's kind of like some kind of ritual. Oh, that's a lot of pages. Wait, no, no, those are traps. I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her and me and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes, cliffhangers, in a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Is Zane the freaking uh... The light? Ow! Run! It's coming! There's too many of them! Yes. God damn. Oh. I'm so glad you decided to go it alone. Shut up and shoot. Ow! We have to fight them all. I can set off more of the fireworks from here and help you out. Hey, Al! Did you notice there's a lot of ammo and stuff around? It does give you enough time to really like grab everything you need.
Oops. The ammo real quick. Bad bear. It's <laughs> It really is really awesome. I am using the flare button. Night night oh. ah, That was awesome! Right Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'll sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. <laughs> what? I just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. You've got to be kidding me. I got him. Yeah. Uh-huh. to be... Oh gosh. This way. Oh, 
Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, guy. <laughs> <I'm a wreck. laughs> if I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year, and and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, cause I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. I like how he feels the it's super bro. Be okay. We're gonna make it okay. Oh. Alice! 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 I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! It was a crazy drunken dream. And yet, it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have Alice? never turned the lights Alice. off. I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice, Alice. and so she had me. been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. Those are freaking windows with the lights. Alice? She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. A diver? All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. You did talk about diver. Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. 
I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. She stole the skin of my armor a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. Aww. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. It's in the lamp. <laughs> what did Barry see? She's the one in the song, the lady of the light. What, the crazy lady? Whatever you throw out, what we're stuck here. We're not getting her back. I don't remember that with Paige. You're what? Wake, what's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this crap. 
Wait, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Whoa! Get, get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. I know who you are. <laughs> There we go. Oh, what the? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, he's... Barry, look out! Barry, move! Ah! Barry, he made it in sideways. He's okay. I, uh, can we continue looking in there? Oh, God damn it. There was more to look through. There's that frickin' rocking horse. He's been leaving the cases. Ourself with like four of them. I'm trying to get the... Uh... Come on. I guess never mind.
What the hell? <laughs> you hear that? Oops. That's it? I feel better switching to the hunting rifle now. I mean, so much that I, I'm usually always full. Whoa! I bury. <laughs> he's wrapped. He's wrapped up in Christmas lights. <laughs> You know, you know, it's kind of smart, though. It's kind of smart. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm like cry laughing. Have a berry, Merrick. The White Ball General Store is Christmas' favorite place in the entire world. See this gift wrap? It's like a superpower. I can just use it for all those things and then die. It's my flaming <laughs>
They do explode! Not as big as I would think, but... Funny enough, Left 4 Dead <laughs> 2 updated today. <laughs> Oh, he has that. That's Tom. Lights on. Not foreboding. Oh! You raise the electric bills on everyone with your power plant. Pet cemetery. Everything you've ever written, thousands of words. Those few 
I curse you, Thomas. <laughs> I have a different idea. I knew you'd show up, right? The flaming eye of Mordor. Damn, goddamn, goddamn. Alan is tired. Oh, that one actually, <laughs> so the hand hit you. I got a lot of birds. <laughs> Thank you. 
mine now <laughs> go lamp lady go oh to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, will fight fate to the bitter end. When he did fate, he soon woke up, gleams of nightmare fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old blunt switch. She called it the cricket, and suddenly the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she ran to clicker to Alan, yet it was here. Gawain had written it into existence, in a story I had written. I can get to him. I can finish this. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Calder Lake to hold out. Going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms to make it all right. Well, why can't you just write it here? Yeah. The page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Jane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Jane, but I need to do this alone. Thank what? <laughs> Miss Reva, close the door. Aww. Good luck, Al. See you later. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I had flicked the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I had stood on the rim of Calder Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Flashbangs anymore. That's not it. Now is that it?
<laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> I'm full on flares. Okay. Start using flares. Oh, there. Oh, oh. Turn back now. What hit me? Sir! I... what? This lady doesn't know that I have, a, I have big determination. There we go. Quick flare. Oh. Yeah, that's all you have to do is uh, not show me that there's a uh, <laughs> a jump and I will just walk straight. Um... I think I get closer. Um... Mission is 
Oh, there goes my flare. <laughs> I'll keep that. Oh, get ready. Get ready. Get ready to play it. Go away. You can't hear me say. Yeah. Why aren't you afraid? You're not Alex. Turn the lights on now. Where's the clicker? What did you do with it? Alan? You're scaring me now. Come back to bed. Are you taking your pills? Do you want me to call Dr. Hartman? I read your manuscript. It's brilliant. Departure is your best regret. Genius. I'm so Hi, Thomas. You must find your way to the cabin. If it stands in your way, it won't let you pass. It has no heart. It's filled with darkness. You must fill its heart with light. I was... I was the one that's supposed to fill you with light! Yeah. <laughs> Phone, barbell. Thermos. Yes. Who are you? What have you done with my Alex? Alex? It wasn't true. Nothing like that has ever happened. We made it up. You're not Mary.
husband refused to do as he was told. All he had to do was write what I wanted him to write. Now you will never get her back. The hole where her heart should be. Feel Alice's presence close by. I understood what I had to do now. I knew how to write the ending to departure. There's light and there's darkness, cause and effect. There's guilt and there's atonement. But the scales always need to balance. Everything has a price. That's where Zane had gone wrong. There's a long journey through the night back. No. I'm not making this joke again. <laughs>
Oh. Nightingale. Oh wait, wait, we have to see Wait to see uh Wait to see how much I got. I found eighty one out of a hundred thermoses. I missed nineteen of them. Is it over? Not to the fist jumps. It's over. That's how you